Hey, it's Matt with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it is Tuesday. It's January 28th. This will be our chart lesson for today, and we had a nice rally today. Um, looked like we were going to maybe have another sideways day again, but uh, right about eight, a little after 8:30, about 8:40 or so, we kind of uh, re we found a little bottom here and started trending up, and we had a pretty nice. Pretty nice trend the rest of the day. Um, notice I had the big two-tiered channel, which is in play, but we overshot that, and really it never came. You never really could use this again. It never came back to the trend line. It never even came back to the midline. So this was a clear, obvious two-tiered channel working up, and when it played out, we just went into this flat browner one. So really, this just would have been in the way later on. I would just remove it. I left it on here to show it to you. But I'm going to take it off so it, it just it, so it's not so confusing. When you back out, you can clearly see. And we even actually overshot the brown channel too, and you can see that led to a break and then a move to a new high, and then we trended down pretty much the rest of the day. So um, of course we got into the two o'clock right out here, and so I'm not going to talk about any of that. Um, I didn't mark any of these trades up through here, but this is a very strong trend, and um, if you got a second entry in here, you'd probably want to take it, but you just don't really get any in here. Uh, there's some hidden second entries, but other than that, um, you know, you really need to be good to, to look at stuff like that. So I didn't mark anything up through there. I think it becomes too, uh, when you're not even coming back to the EMA, you finally did here and you could, there is a, notice that new high right there. You actually made a triple top and then you move down and then back up and then back down there's a hidden second entry right there and there's a nice bullish bar so that's a possibility i'll mark it green when we come back to it we'll talk about it I'm, i probably would be very interested in that trade with the uh, trend being that strong especially with this little congestion and then the drop out of it and you might have considered going short there i think you're being it's really risky because this is really pushing strong here and while this would have worked i think it's risky it's another one you could probably argue for to be green. You can see we don't have a lot of green ones in here today like we had uh, yesterday. Yesterday was just kind of a crazy day. Very unusual day, really. And then once we got up here, uh, there's another failed uh, triple top, kind of failed second entry long. But it's right into the EMA and the midline, so I didn't mark it either. Because, look, we had an overshoot here. We didn't even get back to the midline. Then we overshot it again, and so... It could have bounced right there again and gone higher. So you had to be really careful looking for any shorts in here. Uh, right here was a possibility uh, because it's the first overshoot. Um, but once we got up here, once we continued higher, then you had to be careful on any more shorts. And notice I didn't mark any more until we had an overshoot of this brown one. And this bigger blue two-tiered channel had played out. And then there's a shorter term here that had played out too. So... Um, and then you had this trend line working down and you had a failed second entry long off of it. So I felt a little more comfortable going short at that point. So, but let me back out. We'll talk about the trades and we'll wrap it up. I need to get out of here today and I'm a little bit late doing this already. So I'm going to move through them pretty quickly. Um, of course, when I came in, we'd been trending up since 530. Um, in case I hadn't said it lately, I usually start trading about seven o'clock and, um, your volume, your volume really picks up around six, six thirty. But it, you know, just to be some days it's seven o'clock. But by seven o'clock, it's fairly safe to trade. You got plenty of volume, and that's when I usually start to to my trading day around seven o'clock. So, uh, but notice we were moving up. This trend line's really strong. It played out. We had two legs up, and then we had a lower high here on a fail. Notice that high, first entry pullback, and there's a second entry long. It fails. And you really got a triple top there. I don't have my line on there. Put it on for you just so it's clear. And you can see that double test triple top. Nice bearish bar. And there's a second entry short. That's a perfect setup. Um, it didn't turn out to be the high of the day, which I th it looked like it was going to be a range. I really thought that was going to be a sure thing there to get a nice runner on it. Uh, and you would have had a little bit of a runner, but it, it wasn't much. And then we bounced here. Started going sideways. Uh, we do come back to the trend line right here, uh, but by this time you're in another little trading range, and you can kind of 
see that right. And with this trend being not being so strong to the downside yet and having been really strong to the upside, I don't think you want to, uh, you know, you got to be careful in these con congestion areas. And you can see that right there. And we had a little failed breakout, but by the time you can get in, you're right back to the lows and you can't go short there because you see what happens. It bounces and you really don't want to go long there either, even though um, it worked out. You just can't go long. But here we go. We finally get a breakout and notice it broke higher right there. Notice that new low. So it's a first entry and a second entry and it broke higher first and it trapped all those people trying to get long and then it ran and went right out the other side. I like going short with a sales stop right below the green bar, waiting on it when it went through and boom, it drops. So now you got a two legged correction. If we bounce here, it might be, you know, you might want to consider, Hey, this might be the center of the pattern. So mark that whenever we start going higher, look for your measured move. And you can see, we actually went a good bit higher than that today, but notice we got right in there to that point and it tried to correct. Uh, but that would have been my first target right there. And you might have actually measured from right there to here and then use that for a target too. Uh, but we didn't quite get that one until much later. So uh, none of these worked out really good for a measured move today. They, get, they would have given you easy targets, and but you would have prices actually surpassed them. But anyway, uh, this turns out to be a nice move down. There's a lower high here right off the trend line, but again, it's right into the low, and that's been a long move down, and I'd look for two legs right there. Um, you actually do get two legs. They're not much of one. And then there's another little second entry right there, but we've already had a break and a couple of moves down, so I'm a little leery of that one. Uh, it, particularly because that is an inside bar. This is really your signal bar. And so um, I don't feel I didn't feel like that was a good enough setup to uh, enter on that trade. And I think it would have worked. It's real close. It looks like I believe it would have worked. Yes. Um, if not, let me just look. I'm curious if it would have worked because I remember looking at that trade and thinking on it hard. But I 54 would have been your entry, and yeah, it would have worked easily. So, but. Um, I still don't really like it, I, I guess, um, because the main reason is because you got the trend working down, we get the break, and you got a, one leg down and then another leg down, and you actually push through the EMA, although a lot of times you'll push through more than once before you actually reverse, unless it's a strong reversal, and that's definitely not a strong reversal, at least not until here. But notice you get the one leg up correction then you get your second leg up right there and you get that failed second entry short and a nice bullish bar and that confirms that shorter term trend line. I like going long right there. Uh, then we come back, then we come back again and you get a double test and again right off the trend line and um, a nice bullish bar. I like that double test of that level and boom off it goes again. And then there's a double top, even though there's a little bit higher high, there's a double top here, really. So you move down, you get two legs down. And so that's, that's the second entry long again, right off the trend line. Take that trade. And you can see the smart traders like that. Look at it go. And that's what really started. At this point, everybody realizes, hey, we're going higher. And it just takes off. And that measured move is right up in here, I believe. So, um. There's another little hidden second entry here, but uh, if you'd have went long on that one, you'd have got stopped out by a tick only to see it go higher. But again, off it goes. Um, then you get a little triple test up here and this big bearish bar. Um, actually, I don't think I would have entered way down here, but when it broke lower here, I would, I would, you know, I wouldn't have a problem putting a, uh, limit order maybe back up one tick below this bar and you would have got filled on it and then that gives you enough room to get out in case it bounces at the ema or the midline you just want to make sure you got room there if you wait to get in way down here you may not have room there to, and you see it bounced right off the ema 
this thing has been strong. So run up, a little congestion, stay out of that. And then, I mean, that is um, a big overshoot there. But that's when you, you know, that's when you had to be thinking maybe there's a different, something else going on here. And of course there was, there was this flatter brown channel. But you, you had to be real sh uh, careful getting short in here. And again, you got that little triple top again. It is, it is a repeat pattern. From back over here. And really a much smaller one right there. Um. So based on that, you might take that short. Uh, but again, this thing has been so strong. I would just sit tight. I'll mark that one green in case, you know, if you want to be really aggressive. But I think you're better off to skip that trade. And of course, you get a lower high. But now you're right back into the blue trend line. You get a break. I think it's too risky to enter there, even though that's really a double top. So that's a second entry long, but your signal bar is the red bar and you, it's just too, too bearish. Uh, so I'd wait on a higher low, which comes right here. And notice we push through the EMA pull back. It makes one tick lower and reverses instantly. If it breaks out that other side on the same bar, go long right there. There's actually a failure right there. I didn't mark that one. But you could have actually taken that and that one too, uh, because that's been the first break of this blue two-tiered channel. And now I draw my trend line off these two swings and see what happens later, uh, and then just drag it to the top. But you might enter there. But when it comes back this second time, I'd definitely enter there. You can see that people were a little leery about getting long there. Uh, obviously, some people got did. And, uh, they were lucky they didn't get stopped out. But then it comes up, takes off. It actually comes back to the trend line again here. But now you're getting long right into the highs of the day. And you see it failed quickly. And again, there's a little hidden second entry right there. Uh, you move down. There's your correction. And then there's your second leg down. And a nice little bullish bar. And, and it is kind of a triple bottom across there. So you may take that trade. You can see uh, a lot of traders liked it. It takes on off. You get a higher low here, but not a very good signal bar, and you don't have much room. And then you get the overshoot, and you start working down. Look how quickly, easily you push through the EMA and pull back, test that trend line, then pushes lower to the midline, comes back to the trend line, and turn down again. That's a failed second entry long. You're going to trap a lot of traders there, and look at it go. You can tell they all had to exit. And we do bounce right here uh, without a break of that trend line and having an overshoot now, plus this one's played out, the blue one. I'd be very leery uh, of getting long here without a good setup. And you really don't, you get a higher low here, but again, very neutral bar. And then it comes back yet again, but look how congestive it is. And they trap some people. This is like a double trap. They trapped a bunch of people in long. They all exited. And then and probably a bunch of new shorts got in and they ran it up. I definitely wouldn't go short right there either. So when it drops out of there and gives you a second entry long, notice that new high, pull back first entry, pull back second entry. Um, first break of that trend line, I like that one. And you can see again, it phew, takes off. Another nice trade. Um, you would have got a runner on that one. There's another little second entry here, but not a very good signal bar. It's just... There's no EMA, there's no midline. Uh, you know, normally you're not going to overshoot this thing twice like this, especially on a, uh, a day like we've had the last couple of days. But it does. It shoots through again, but notice how it's not long before it reverses. And you get a lower high with a big bearish part. It actually broke higher and turned and went out the other side. It's right, at, it's right before 2 o'clock, so I wouldn't have a problem with that one. We're probably headed back down to the trend line. We actually have had a break and a new high as well. So it could reverse, which it actually does. And you can see really that looks like your trend line right there. Let's check the bottom. Yep, notice how that fits right there. It fits really well. You drag that up and there's your trend line. 
And that's how I do that off the other side sometimes when it's not clear off the top. You can see the midline fits real nicely in there too. But that got us into 2 o'clock. And you can see there's another nice. Now you got a trend coming down. We've had a break and a new lower into the next day, though. So, um, but yeah, it was a pretty nice trading day. It was pretty. It was fairly straightforward. Uh, the only thing that probably wasn't straightforward is like here you had a break of the blue and a new eye, but it didn't reverse. Then you had the. But you, you'll see this a lot. This is too steep, and. But the market is very bullish today. So what will happen is you'll get a break at a new high and you'll either go sideways for a while or you'll get a flatter uh, channel like this brown one uh, that keeps working higher. And then, of course, always look for your shorter term trend lines in there as well and play those just like I did here. So this this was relatively straightforward today. Um, once this trend was obvious right here. You got to play it. It's just a little bit overdone here, but not much you can do about that. So, uh, but pretty good trading day. So, anyway, I hope um, hope everybody had a great day. It might have got a little confusing up here uh, for some of you, especially if you're new. And um, just remember, I, I get a lot lately. I get a lot of emails of people looking for failures. And one thing I want to tell everybody: if you're fairly new to this. Forget about failed second entries. Forget about reversals. Forget about failures. Concentrating on finding second entries. And you always want to do, play them with the trend. So if the trend's up, you're looking for second entries long, second entry longs. And if the trend's coming down, you're looking for second entry shorts. You might even do that right here. Uh, really, you're going to play your failures here. So you probably should stay. You, if you're a new trader, don't be trying to pick tops at all. Because you'll that's... All you'll do is lose money. You'll get it wrong every single time, I promise you. It's very hard to do. Once you learn price action and can read it, you'll get better at it, but you'll still get fooled sometimes. But if you're new, you'll you'll be lucky if you ever pick a top or bottom. You will get it wrong every single time, and all you'll do is lose money. So forget about reversals. Forget about failed second entries that are against the trend. Concentrate on finding second entries with trend. And once you get good at that, then the failed second entries will just stick out like a sore thumb because you'll see what's going on. But concentrate, if you're new at this, just concentrate on finding the trend and looking for second entries at key entry points. That's The key entry points are going to be your EMA, your trend line, and then secondary, your midline. Midlines are not as uh, reliable as the EMA and the trend line. And the trend line is what you really want. Uh, so concentrate on finding second entries that happen at those key entry points. Again, where are the key entry points? EMA, trend line, and midlines. And then, of course, the horizontal support resistance. Don't forget those. There weren't many of those today. There's a few in there, but those are key entry points as well. All, all that is is a flat support resistance, where, and all this is is a, a trend line is is an angled support and resistance they're the same thing they they act the same way just one of them's angled up and one of them's angled down and one of them's angled flat but those are key entry points and then remember on these strong trends that you may not reverse you may just go a lot of times you're just going to go sideways or you're going to find a flatter trend you'll do this more to the upside it'll it'll do this sometimes to the downside too but You'll see more re quick reversals off the lows than you will off the highs because we're, in, we're really been in a bull market. So the overall bias longer term is up. And so I don't want to get too much and complicate you there. But just remember for now, if you're new at this, concentrate on finding second entries with a trend and forget all this other stuff. It's too, it's too much for you to try to pick up and be good at when you're new at this. And it'll just confuse you. And you'll just be losing left and right trying to pick tops and trying to think you caught reversals and you'll outsmart yourself. Trust me. Wait till you got more experience. Wait, wait till it, the rest of it comes easier and then that part will will get easier too. So I hope that's clear for people because I'm getting a lot of those emails. I got several today from several different traders 
and uh, you know they're they're asking about the failed second entry long. They don't either they don't see them or they don't make sense to them, and they're they're trying to pick tops and they're and they're trading them and missing them and they're getting them wrong and they're you know but they're trading them in the wrong context and so throw those things out right now if you're you know if you're not really good at price action throw them out and when you get good at finding second entries with a trend then the failures will be second nature uh, you probably still want to be very um, picky with them because they'll trip you up we even had a double trap in here today I talked about they failed it one way and then made everybody think it was a trap and you'll see that a lot but as you start to get experience you'll start to say hey you know there's no reason to take a trap here I'm just going to watch and then you'll see and it'll be a double trap and you'll say yeah I knew something didn't look right but sometimes you'll get fooled too and that's the whole idea is to trap people in the wrong direction and 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 run stops and things like that so a lot of that's stop running right here this was stop running people were piling back up and they ran the stops and then took it back up so uh, these weak traders all that all got in right here that maybe saw this trend line uh, and then the weak traders that were all get you know they waited for it to get all the way down here before they get brave enough to go short well you're way too late now you've already got two clear legs down and they all get short right in there and the smart traders come in and buy and these guys go it!" and they're having to all get out and look at it look at it run because they're all having to exit all these people that pile up short here got to exit they know they're wrong and that's why it shoots off like that anyway i'm gonna wrap it up we'll be back again to do it tomorrow i'm done for today this is mac with priceactiontradingsystem.com and we'll see you next time